and welcome to your gun market update chance of the day for monday the 7th of november hope you had a great weekend and let's see what's coming across the news wires today of course u.s equities were strong on friday but down for the week as markets recovered to some degree from the fed shock and china reports helped things along suggesting that the covid situation was slightly improved there it's a big week ahead with u.s midterms tomorrow inflation data and end of earnings season and we saw many asset classes gap down on Asian open, which is interesting as well, just possibly reflecting that big week ahead. US futures are mildly lower in Asia, NASDAQ around about 0.5% to the downside. But Asian indices are following that strong lead from Friday. The ASX is trading up around 0.4 of a percent. And of course, European equity futures are also pointing to a higher open. The US dollar moved down significantly on Friday on that strong equity performance. It is higher again today though. Gold has popped and tested 16.75. Come down a little bit today and is around about 16.70 and all also shot high on Friday to retest $100 a barrel on the Brent crude CFD contract and hit two monthly highs. Copper was also up 8% on Friday. And again, as with all of these commodities that popped high on Friday, we are seeing a little bit of weakness today. VIX moved downwards towards that 25 support. That's a key level there. Uh, but we wouldn't be surprised to see it move up in the next 48 hours or so. Bitcoin has held on to 20,000 and it is a quieter earnings day. This is the last significant week in the earnings season. And of course, markets, as we've already suggested, are bracing for inflation data and that mid-term election. We've got Chinese trade balance numbers out. Uh, we've got German industrial production numbers out later. And of course, we've got Fed member speeches. We've got I think, a couple of the Fed members talking today. They may move markets if they continue the aggressive rhetoric a couple of charts caught our eye this morning uh, but obviously difficult because the gap in we had across many asset classes versus the usd we're going to choose the gb pound canadian dollar to look at in the fx where we had this major rejection of a move downwards on friday bring us back up to that support at 153.25 we had another test of the downside this morning but have again recovered to that level and one wonders whether we're brewing here for a significant move higher now although we've got this line at 153.25 on the hourly chart would probably push it up a little bit to 153.60 this would complete a technical reverse head and shoulders pattern and may precipitate some more buying if we breach this level plenty of upside here may pause around 154.80 uh, but that's a significant move higher as a potential as we've said, the ASX is up today. Uh, we are seeing strength in the material sector. Sunfire Resources caught our eye. We're back up to test this 375 level on Sunfire. And you can see how important this level has been historically. Support and resistance on many occasions. We've had pulled back from our initial highs of the day, so it'll be interesting to see how this closes. But undoubtedly, if we close towards the top of it, let's say we got up to 380, then there is significant upside in this. We may pause around about this 415 level but that's a very healthy nine percent to the upside that's possibly in the pipeline with sunfire so one to keep an eye on without a doubt trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now